Hey folks, uh, in this video we're going to talk about how inductors behave in circuits. And um, I want to start with a review. And we're going to do a compare and contrast. So we're going to review RC circuits. Okay. So if you recall, for an RC circuit, tau was equal to RC. Okay. And um, when you close the switch and then you open the switch, what does the beha be, uh, capacitor behave like at T equals zero and T after a long, long time? Well, when you first close a switch, a capacitor behaves kind of like a wire, okay? In other words, it's as if charge goes right through it. Now, that's not what's happening, but that's as if it goes right through it. After a long time, it behaves like what it is, which is an open circuit, okay? Now, let's say you, you charge up a capacitor, and then you, later on you discharge it, okay, through, like, let's say it's a taser. and You're charging it up so it behaves like this. And then when you discharge it, what does it behave like? Well, when you first discharge it, it's going to behave like a battery, EMF. After a long time, it's going to behave like what it is, which is an open circuit. Oh, let's see. Oh, I can't spell circuit. <laughs> All right. So that's what a capacitor behaves like when you are charging it and discharging it. Okay. Well, what about an inductor? Okay. So let's say you have the following circuit. Let's say you have a, a, a battery. Okay, we'll call that E0. All right. And let's say you have the following. Um, you have two paths to follow here. And um, you have a switch. Right now, neither part of the circuit is, is connected. And then that switch is connected to a resistor and an inductor, like so, okay? And then we'll call this A, and we'll call this B, okay? So we can move the switch from uh, A to B, all right? So here's what we're going to do. The What's the job of an inductor, okay? An inductor in a circuit, it opposes changes in current. Now notice it doesn't oppose current, right? It opposes changes in current. So it, in essence, it wants to keep current the same. So if current is trying to increase in your circuit, the inductor will try to, you know, reduce the current. On the, on the flip side, if the current is trying to decrease in your circuit, the inductor will try to increase it, okay? So the inductor opposes changes in current. And another way to look at it is inductors want to try to keep current study. Keep current the same. Okay. So let's talk about um, when you put the switch at A and then at B. Okay. It's kind of like open and close or close and open again. And we're going to look at T equals zero and T after a big, big time. Okay. All right. So when I first moved the switch to A, okay, the current was zero. The inductor is going to try to keep current the same. So when you hook up a battery to a resistor, how would you keep current from flowing through the resistor? Well, you would have a, a battery pointing the other way. So this inductor right here, when you first move that switch to A, like let's say this is a, I don't know, 12 volt battery. The inductor voltage, when you first move to A, it, the inductor voltage will be 12 volts pointing the other way, meaning the current through the resistor for that, the first few moments will be zero. But after a long, long time, an inductor is going to behave like what it is. Well, what's an inductor? Just a bunch of wire. <laughs> so eventually, it's going to behave like what it is, which is just a wire, in which case the voltage will be zero, and current will flow through it freely, and the current will be E over R, okay, after a while. All right, so now let's say you get that inductor going, and um, you get the current to steady state when the switch is at location A, and then you quickly move the switch from A to B. What's going to happen now? Well, now there's no battery anymore. So you have, you basically have this little circuit right here. Okay. So the inductor had current going through it. The inductor is going to continue to try to keep the current the same. It's going to try, it's going to replace the battery's job and become a positive EMF. Okay. So the, the inductor is going to try to keep current flowing as it was right before you move the switch from A. 
But after a long, long time, what's the inductor going to behave like? Well, it's going to behave like what it is, which is just a bunch of wire. Okay. So that's the what the inductor is going to do um, in the short and, and long term. Um, if you look at this also, in the for when you move the switch to A, in the long term, your current should be E over R, right? Because after a while, your, your current should, your, the inductor is as if it's not even there and you just have a, a voltage and a resistance. When you first move the switch to B, the current should also be E over R and then decay to zero. So when you move the switch to A, the current just started zero and increased to E over R. When you move the switch to B, the current was E over R, and then eventually it will decrease to zero. So if you can do all that, um, you're in pretty good shape. Now, what about the in-between zero and a big time? Okay, so that's where you got to do uh, some math. Okay, so I think what I'll do is in the next video, I will uh, put the math in here for you, and we'll talk about as a function of time, what is current and voltage in the inductor? All right, hope you found this video helpful and thank you very much.